tell us in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. Evening to everyone and a happy new year. Today, uh, January 6 marks the end of the Christian uh, Christmas season. No? Uh, and uh, the next uh, order of uh, agenda normally for uh, business people would be preparation for Chinese New Year. Okay? And tonight, uh, that will be our uh, special uh, table topic. No? As if we're just in a Starbucks or a restaurant that uh, we uh, sharing with each other. Please take your uh, pen and paper so you can list down uh, notes on what to uh, do on uh, Chinese New Year. First of all, let's have an uh, overall uh, bird's eye view of uh, how Chinese New Year is really celebrated or what it looks like now. Okay. Um, Chinese New Year this year will be February 12th, no? the day itself. The fact that it will be a national holiday here in the Philippines. But in other Asian countries, the holiday stretches for the whole duration of uh, Chinese New Year, they call it holiday uh, from February 12, 15 days or two weeks uh, up to February 27. And there is such thing as Chinese Christmas. Okay, Chinese Christmas is February 11, the day right before uh, Chinese New Year. So for them, New Year's Eve will be the eve or 12 midnight of February 11. And this is where the rituals and the festivities really begin, okay? And it ends, mind you, all the way two weeks later uh, up to uh, February 27. Because uh, in their observance, there are certain days that uh, are devoted to certain rituals, like sleeping, sweeping the floor, visiting family members or kinsfolk in the provinces, uh, no wonder uh, in China or in other Asian countries, Chinese New Year holiday is uh, a period of massive, uh, uh, you can call it local tourism or uh, uh, migration. So the first thing that uh, comes to mind always when uh, Chinese New Year comes is health is well. Okay? And uh, the best uh, food to prepare to symbolize good health and long life is pancit, or they call it mi, or uh, in English, of course, noodles. But this time, there's a unique feature when you prepare noodles. It should be angkat. Yung hindi pinutol from the package. Uh, if you cut noodles, it symbolizes you're cutting life also. Now you shorten your life. Let's say if you make spaghetti from the uh, uh, package, you never cut it. No? Uh, even when you eat it, try to uh, consume it the whole uh, nine yards of uh, the noodles. No? So what are the popular noodle preparations in this uh, regard? No? Uh, you can substitute either. And by the way, these are called lucky and prosperity foods and also for long life so we're focusing right now on the long life food which is uh, noodles or uncut noodles category and the way to eat this or prepare this is not necessarily on new year's eve no? although some want to uh, prioritize it right away by eating this noodle you have an option to eat these choices of foods from February 11 midnight up to February 27 midnight okay uh, just relax take it easy you don't have to uh, swallow everything in one gulp so to speak no? uh, you can prepare these dishes gradually over a two week period wherever you are and consume them for the very symbolism that uh, 
uh, they bring or attract in terms of luck, prosperity, good health, and long life. Okay? So the first uh, uh, options when it comes to angkat noodles will be the popular pancit canton. Uh, because uh, it's a very available and easy to prepare. Okay? Others, uh, when it comes to dealing with the elderly, especially seniors, some uh, pancit canton varieties are not easy to you know, digest or uh, uh, chew because young are very, yeah, they describe it as chewy or ano. So they settle for soft noodles. The miswa, okay? Uh, you can also have miswa as soup uh, or any. In fact, there's uh, such thing as uh, birthday soup. No? Uh, when you celebrate birthdays, they have long life noodles. But it can also come in a soup uh, preparation. Normally, miswa uh, would be okay. Let's normally the concept in uh, Chinese New Year food uh, preparation is the concept of abundance. And for you to attract abundance in life, especially when it comes to food uh, from the kitchen, you should be complete. Just like when you transfer homes, your ally or your offering is to attract the same. Even in groundbreaking ceremonies, uh, you have you should have fish preparation, pork preparations in terms of dishes, chicken, and beef. Okay, so these four categories uh, are imperative or required to be consumed or eaten. Uh, during the Chinese New Year, okay? in whatever form uh, you may so desire to prepare them. Okay? So for fish, even in Japanese, even if it's uh, uh, sashimi in the raw, it's okay. No? okay. Let's tackle first the uh, fish categories. Okay. For fish, the most popular is preparation of any whole fish okay from uh, head to tail normally the most popular would be a uh, steam fish or rellenong bangos uh, uh, any milk fish preparation be it fried or uh, other no even with soup as long as it's whole no now the symbol of fish by the way, the symbolisms in Feng Shui is just like, when it comes to food, it's just like numerology, like the lucky numbers. It depends on the euphony or the way it sounds in Chinese. Okay, so fish in Chinese is you, why you, no? And it sounds like cash. So you can be practical by using uh, several types of fish that's whole, even small, that can point to each and every uh, breadwinner. Even if it will be a kind of sardines, you just uh, disengage its fish and put in a saucer, each one uh, pointing to uh, each breadwinner. Okay? Uh, it has a variety across uh, of uses or applications across. Uh, socio-economic income classes. No? Let's say even the class CDE, even the poorest of the poor, you can partake of this even if it's dried fish or tuyo or even dilis, no? the smallest uh, um, possible edible fish. No? Wag naman yung uh, <laughs> bagoong, no? yung hindi na makita yung, <laughs> yung isda. No? <laughs> so you have to really position the fish towards the breadwinners, okay? So just the cardinal rule when it comes to any fish pre preparation. Of course, uh, normally the popular ones are steamed fish, steamed lapu-lapu, scabeche, or uh, relienong bangos, no? Uh, or sinugbak, no? In the Visayan uh, region, okay? Category so, pork, of course. So when it comes to pork, the most popular dish is, of course, uh, roast pig or lechon. 
be it uh, uh, the whole uh, uh, mother pig or father pig and the suckling pig, no? La lechon de leche. So please, I'd like to greet our former guests here. Uh, recently, the owner of Igbex Lechons watching, first Medina, no? From uh, Angeles City, uh, Pampanga, from his farm area. Okay. Now, uh, for pork, any pork dish actually, no? Uh, so normally, fried foods, no? Because there's a, a tradition, uh, ironically, this tradition is a, a secret Chinese tradition. No? Uh, they love to uh, suck on pork lard. So that's why lechon is very popular because the skin in between and even the meat uh, so tender it has a uh, the proper amount of uh, pork lard, which for them attracts prosperity. And ironically, I learned this from a, a half Christian, half a Muslim good friend of mine, the late uh, JCI Senator uh, Maruhum from Iligan uh, City. It's an annual uh, uh, observance during uh, both Western and Chinese New Year that uh, he does. No? Uh, to attract more uh, prosperity. And I understand the site. Uh, that's the popularity of other pork preparation like uh, lechon macau, um, crispy pata, uh, for that purpose. Okay? So the more you go on the fried or uh, roasted uh, pork preparations, the better. Okay? That's a tip. You can take note of that, uh, my aunt, Alberto. No? I know you're watching now. And you can share this with our uh, Rotary friends there in Cebu. Okay? So next would be, uh, from pork, let's go to uh, beef preparations. Okay? For beef, the most popular would be, uh, of course, uh, in uh, pre-COVID times, it was lechon baka. No. But nowadays, uh, we can be more practical by sticking to, uh, well, the smaller uh, preparations like beef steak, uh, uh, caldereta, or even nilagang uh, beef or baka or beef offers on what to avoid this year, the year 2021, when it comes to food preparations and this applies to the whole year okay so since this year is the year of the ox uh, its fellow uh, cow bull carabao uh, animals and their respective uh, food preparations be it meat or offals or i uh, know will not be lucky no because of the syndrome in feng shui of ox to ox, it cancels your luck. The atmosphere of the chi in the environment is ox. And if you eat pa, uh, to ingest in your body ox meat, carabao meat, or uh, whatever preparations from cow, uh, which ironically includes milk, no? uh, save of course for the babies who need the uh, milk. No? Not anymore the daddies, huh? okay? So, uh, as much as possible, avoid any cow-related uh, 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 preparation or oxen, okay? Uh, it includes liver spread, okay? Where the offals are used, okay? So that's uh, one category to avoid this year, especially this applies for people born in the year of the ship no? because year of the ship people are uh, uh, in conflict with the sign of the ox. Yes. Okay. The topmost preference popular uh, across Asia is the cheapest of all. It's the mussels, no? uh, yung, yung uh, tahong. No? in uh, Filipino or Tagalog. Uh, 
in any way it is prepared, do partake of, let's say, tahong soup, mussel soup, or uh, baked tahong, whatever preparation, or grilled tahong uh, with beer, that's all right, no? Uh, because the sound of uh, tahong or mussels in Chinese is excellent prosperity, okay? Chinese also think deeply in terms of degrees, okay? Just like our grades, we think of in terms of degrees. There's an A, triple A, B, C, no? So, these three seafoods belong to the triple A category when it comes to attracting excellent uh, prosperity. Next in line will be oysters, okay? Which is very good now in pandemia, no? Uh, because they contain a lot of zinc, okay? Which is uh, good for our immune system, okay? So, oysters in raw form or uh, baked oysters like oyster cake uh, will be uh, an excellent dish to partake of during Chinese New Year uh, celebration to attract more prosperity. So in the Philippines, in Chinatown, urban legend has it that uh, uh, in the past uh, decades, uh, tycoons like Danding Kuanko, uh, Rodolfo Cuenca, Charlie Palanca, and other uh, uh, local Chinese uh, or Filipino Chinese tycoons do partake of this. One experience I had with a with a client, uh, he was selling selling his uh, almost 50 million building in Angeles City. Uh, he was uh, during the Thai financial crisis after 1997. He got hit. So he had to liquidate some of the family uh, jewels, so to speak, or assets. They had a building beside the Holy Family Academy in uh, Angela City, and he wanted to dispose of it. So when I visited him in uh, his house, I was surprised his uh, arowana in the aquarium was gone. He also runs uh, a restaurant uh, uh, nearby with good chef, no? Uh, I said, where's your arowana? Did it die? He said, no, since you said the uh, arowana is very lucky, I endeavored, I have a good chef to have it steam. And I consumed it alone. <laughs> Will it bring me luck? Well, he said, uh, it bears watching. Let's see. Three days later, he calls and he was able to sell his building. Okay. You have uh, a long list already. All these are uh, on the uh, extra supplements are, of course, electives or optional. You don't have to go out of your way to uh, uh, buy this. No? Uh, only when the occasion uh, presents itself. Okay. Now, the rich Chinese, in uh, overseas Chinese around the world, they have also another special food preparation for attracting great fortune, a uh, special dish. And this is the abalone, no? uh, it's very expensive. One whole abalone preparation in a uh, luxurious uh, Chinese restaurant can cost an arm and a leg. No? Uh, well, of course, she's cheaper than the emperor's dish. Okay? By the way, emperor's dish, there's a footnote for that. It was uh, the Thanksgiving uh, dish, which uh, the late, uh, oh, the, not the late, the former uh, uh, President era for Joseph Estrada, uh, went all the way out for lunch, bringing it as a, a gift token of Thanksgiving to Mike Velarde uh, in his office in Makati uh, after he won the presidency because of the help of uh, uh, Brother Mike's uh, El Shaddai group in his victory, okay? So, these are uh, urban legends, but they're true, huh? not, not, not the uh, fly-by-night uh, urban legend uh, stories about uh, food. Vegetable dishes, well, you may have an option of uh, together with the beef or pork, 
the way the Koreans do it uh, with lettuce, yung, you mix it with lettuce leaves and uh, uh, you just eat it as is, no? Uh, combination. Lettuce in uh, Chinese, that's why you see uh, Lucky Charms uh, of lettuce, no? Lettuce symbolizes blooming prosperity. Okay? Uh, that's it. Which brings to mind the partner of vegetables on the table fair, fair no? which we uh, forgot. I forgot. Sorry. Um, these are fruits. Okay. Uh, like Just like in uh, Western New Year, you prepare 12 round fruits, sweet fruits, no? uh, preferably oranges and one pineapple. But the special difference now when it comes to Chinese celebration uh, is uh, use only eight round sweet fruits. Just to be safe, just use eight oranges. No? Because oranges is called kum or kim, which sounds like gold or prosperity symbol. And pineapple is uh, welcoming prosperity. It's called Ong Lai. Uh, an ardent student of mine, you should have displayed it after Ghost Month. Last year. Thomas Karunungan. Uh, Tom! Tom is the owner of Nito Printing. They do the printing for all the top hotels. Okada, Soler, for their printing needs. Okay? Best fruits to serve. The best fruit to serve, Tom, I have a uh, Answered uh, one pineapple and just uh, to be safe, just eight oranges. But make sure they're sweet. Huh? Uh, from IP Joseph. Okay. Advice: Kung paano makaklose ng transaction this year. Ah, paano makaklose ng transaction this year? Of course, you have to work. You have to do your uh, prospecting. Uh, techniques well on uh, how to uh, persuade your client on the benefits of your product or service and if you want smooth flow energy I will not pull your leg but the scientific approach from a feng shui viewpoint is to have yourself feng shui at home and at work so your energies are balanced no no block energies that can stop your sales from Tina Casino. Oh, Tina Casino is from New Jersey. Okay. Forecast for the rat sign this 2020. Oh, rat is a very rebound sign this year. Last year, it was rat against rat. Now, rat is the soulmate of ox. And it's the year of the ox. So, might as well consider it the golden year. Or Midas touch for the years of the rat-born people. After third quarter, Never attempt to have a baby because your baby will be born in the year of tiger. And tiger to tiger, tiger mother to tiger baby will be a difficult pregnancy. It can cost a life of any of two or both mother and child. Okay? From Thomas Karunungan. Okay. Tom? Advice for legal problems this year. Oh, legal problems this year. Uh... It's best to uh, remember, Tom, we have that uh, uh, lucky charm for legal problems. You move it to the southwest portion of your office. That's for winning legal battles this year. Okay? Um, MK Fabier Evangelista. Okay. Good business for this year. Good business for this year. Since chicken is... Uh, uh, the best uh, and luckiest uh, charm for this year any chicken related business uh, you can enter all the whole uh, uh, spectrum of chicken business from broilers players to finish uh, food products uh, you can engage in or if you want to engage in live uh, chicken business lalo na, even if you're babae Marami ng babaeng sabungeran nowadays, even if uh, bawal sa pandemya ang sabong, there are still aficionados who breed chicken, okay? So, you can be a good chicken breeder and seller, breeder. If they believe there was a dragon, monster, just like Godzilla, 
during Chinese New Year was released from its uh, cave or from the mountains and goes rampaging all over villages no? and devours people. So for people to be passed over, they put red or they wear red because it looks like blood so they can be passed over by the Nian Chen uh, or the dragon, so to speak, uh, mistaken for death. So that's the real origin of the color red for luck. You'll be lucky to be still alive in the new year by using red. No? Uh, but the lucky color for this year in Fuk Shui, you base it actually on the element of the year. And the element of the year is metal and the translated color for metal is white. Now, your question is very good. The color of the year is yellow and gray. Its color of the year dictated by fashion dictation from Paris by the fashionistas. You have to differentiate between color of the year and Feng Shui lucky color of the year. Those are miles apart. They're like heaven and earth. If you want earth, you go for yellow and gray. Why yellow and gray? It's very easy to explain to you because this emanate, this fashion dictation, the fashionistas of Paris dictate this, they borrow from European concepts. And since it's a gloomy year, it's a very depressing year because of COVID-19 pandemic across the globe, especially Europe, they borrowed the concept of Germany. You see, Germany has no sunshine halos for nine months. It's an industrial city full of smog because of the factories and because of the what they call equinox or the way the sun hits their country. It's only a small period of time. So it's very sad and depressing. So people in Germany to cheer themselves up and their employees paint their factories industrial gray and yellow. Yellow especially to uh, like smiley yellow to evoke cheerfulness and positive vibes. Aldrich Luck on Facebook. Okay? And uh, partake and be a patron of these services. Next question. Doc Rose Diaz. Paano po maglagay ng mga wind chimes sa north? Based ba sa pintuan ng room or yung main door? Ah, sa north. Hindi kung saan ng norte lang. Common sense. Uh, let's say you live in Pangasinan. Norte is uh, going up to Baguio direction. So, doon sa portion na yon, pero ilalagay nyo ang pinaka-best sa master bedroom mo or kung single, sa kwarto mo. Sa North Wall. Ilagyan mo lang ng hook, sabit mo lang. O kung may curtain rod na doon, may bintana, cortina, okay. Ang pinaka-best is kung let's say nagkataon, by coincidence, when you go out of your door, it's headed towards north. Let's say you're in Manila, uh, your door is facing towards Quezon City or Pampanga or Bulacan. Uh, you hang the six-rod metal chime outside the door, okay, uh, to filter sickness. Next, Joanna Tang Turian. Okay. Further studies with master's degree for Ox. Advisable po ba this year? Ah, no, no. Uh, because Ox to Ox, okay? So, lie low, you can defer it till next year. And of course, uh, your studies will be impaired by uh, uh, online uh, difficulties, no? So, hopefully, if things get better next year, uh, your absorption capacity for learning and wisdom will be better in understanding rather than uh, suffer the technical difficulties of online learning. Susan Lapson, what well, needs to be done to maintain good health for oxens? Okay, so Susan is an uh, editor of Life Repetit. Pig Dinner's distribution for an Earth Monkey Master as new business this year. That's okay. Uh, Live Pig Distribution. Uh, that's a very good business. Uh, actually, 
you have a farm, uh, you're a distributor, so you're the one na manghahango sa farm. Because normally, if you're a farm piggery owner, no problem at all in distribution because all these distributors, biyahero, biyahera, will just go to your farm gate and purchase your produce. Otep from Kinyos. Otep from uh, Coco Life Insurance. Uh, yes, Otep, what's your question? Year of the Snake this year. A year of the snake, uh, you know, the best friends of ox or allies in Feng Shui are the year of the rooster and the year of the snake. So these two in tandem uh, would be like the, if it were the movies in the olden times, will be the box office hits for this year. They would be like uh, air up back to back with MPJ, okay? So you have my just touch this year, Otep, uh, go for it. Now, for those seriously wanting to be wealthy and mahirap maka-access sa fighting place, especially those in the regions where pet shops are actually very rare nowadays, you can put a fighting fish image, especially a painting, especially in your office or your living room. No? Uh, here, let me show you an example. Uh, this is an artwork by... Uh, Cha, magpaye, balajay, no? A uh, client of mine, artist, you can actually purchase from her. Uh, just add her and order, PM her on Facebook, no? It's very cheap, no? You can collect all her fighting face uh, renderings or collections, no? The best place to put this in your office or your homes is when you enter the main door, anywhere, right side wall areas. Okay, uh, that's to kickstart cash flows for 2021 and sustain them. Okay, it's like a substitute for an aquarium because nowadays it's hard to set up an aquarium because of the pandemic. Okay, so that's one. Uh, uh, Kung baga, ito yung mga food supplements beyond food. Uh, material objects that you can augment your luck with no, to attract uh, uh, good luck in uh, 2021. So first is the fighting fish concept. Second is the yucca plant. Okay, Yucca plant is a desert plant actually. You normally find them in gas stations, no? in the mini gardens of gas stations. Uh, there's a yucca plant. You can Google the image. Have a one live yucca plant, whether inside, uh, in a pot, in your uh, living room, or outside, plant it in your garden. Yucca plant is symbolic of survival. And with the present environment of pandemic, the challenges of uh, COVID-19, it's a game of survival of the fittest. And yucca plant is one uh, lucky charm that can help you survive the challenges of health this year. Okay? Everybody suffers in the house. If good income, lahat na abunan. Uh, you spread the sunshine. Everybody happy. Stay tuned for the next episode only here on Big Media.